Beverly Hills socialites have the reputation of being poised. They also have the reputation of being kind. And, of course, these queens of the elite have the reputation of having a very strict moral compass. But when a Beverly Hills socialite moves to Hollywood, they get to decide the new reputation for which they'll be known. And today's option is... Trash Box! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I'm Scarlett Davis. I'm your new neighbor. Now, I googled what people do in low-income neighborhoods when neighbors first move in, and apparently they're big on borrowing sugar. Now, I'm not quite sure why poor people are always out of sugar, but I brought you some. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, listen, you wouldn't happen to have any pills you could share, do you? Haven't I seen your beaver on a tabloid before? <laughs> Groomed and perky? Bushy and ragged. Then no. Did you want to hang out? Yeah. Vodka or whiskey? <laughs> Straight and narrow. <sighs> then no. Hey! Or whatever. That's me, Scarlett Davis. Welcome home, Miss Scarlett. And I'm like the Beverly Hills socialite. How are you? What's up, slut? Well, was. Scarlett Davis? Who's asking? You have 24 hours to evict. And this is the story of how I become the most successful pill dealer in all of Beverly Hills. I love my Manolos. I love Beverly Hills. I love drugs. I love my Viper pen, but even more, I love rich people. You are perfect for my brand new device, that is. It's going to make you, your boss, and your husband very pleased. Let me give you a demonstration. Both my husband and my boss are Jesus. You will find your righteous path one day, my love. You have nice legs. I thought that was a perfect cell. Oh my god, really? What the fuck? I had those sheets dry cleaned yesterday. That's the first thing you're gonna say. That is exactly why I'm not in love with you anymore. Okay, you do realize that you're saying this while you're still inside of our gardener. It's kind of gross. I thought you were helping Scarlet move. You should have called. Uh, yeah, but there was a sell at Neiman Marcus, so, I mean, naturally, I had to reschedule. Plus, I don't understand why you're mad at me. You're, I mean, look at what you're doing. You're working a second-class citizen. Fuck a goat, Aaron. Fuck a goat. Maybe I will. You did, no, 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 okay, please don't kick me out of the house. Please don't kick me out of this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful house. I don't care if you're cheating at You've almost house. only been here for my money. Really? What? For the money? That's an outrageous allegation, Get out. Sir. Get out. You go dig in. Okay. I will leave. Yeah. But I'll leave. With my dignity. I'm not gonna change my mind. No, Richard, please don't leave me, please. Do we separate the hundred dollar bills from the rest? I feel like that's a stupid question. There's no such thing as a stupid question. <laughs> You're right. That was a retarded question. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Oh, no one. Just your replacement. <gasps> oh! oh my god, I'm sorry, cell phone. <gasps> Why would you do that? You know I need this job now more than ever. The thing is, is we can't have you working for this charity with your family being so... corrupt. Mm. Scarlett, we have respectable families in this committee. 
Um, your mother blew every elementary school teacher I ever had, even Miss Barnard. So, how about you stay out of this? Ooh. <laughs> Listen, Daisy, I, ugh, gross. I am actually going to beg you not to do this. No one knows about it anyways. In your dreams. Honey, you're the biggest talk of the town. Losing your wealth may hurt, but in Beverly Hills, your reputation is the most expensive of all losses. Next time on Beverly Pills. No one wants to give money to a broke girl. Your husband just got fired from the firm. Who's gonna be broke now? Hey. Oh wait, I should totally steal her drugs. Where's that bikey mommy likes <laughs> Fill your prescription at beverlypillsthe